This is Sensei Buck Snyder. I'm a martial artist, nature lover, and total nerd. Come have fun with Sensei in the Wild. Hey guys, listen, we were out just about to turn the grasshopper free. It's right over there, if you see on that log. And look what we just came across. This is a box turtle. Check it out. This one is right here on my property. Oh, look at it. It was beautiful too. In perfect shit condition. Let's look at the pretty little eyes. If you can zoom in here, if you can see the eye color of this one, the females tend to have browner eyes and the males tend to have redder eyes. And this one looks pretty brown, so I think this is a female. So check her out. What a beautiful little turtle. Uh, hopefully she'll be able to come out in a minute. We'll be able to show you some uh, what her little legs and full body and her head looks like. But what a pretty turtle. All right, what's up YouTube? Today we have our very first box turtle video. As y'all saw in the video I just showed where we caught her outside, uh, we've got the little box turtle right here. Look at this pretty girl. She's so awesome. And she's, some box turtles are shy when you find them. See, she, this one uh, is not shy at all. Look at her. I'm gonna have to keep moving her back into play because she's gonna wanna try to move, which is excellent. Some old times they get so scared you never get to see them, but she's got a lot of beautiful coloration. If you can look on her little feet, legs, she's got the yellow spots on her face. She's got all these uh, orange dots. Her shell is a solid color. And the thing is, just to give you all a little information about turtles in general, these things on the back of the shell are called shoots and turtles will actually shed these. And um, one thing that people always think that's crazy is that turtles can come out of their shells. They cannot. This shell has all of her organs in it, her heart, her lungs, everything. Her little spinal column goes right, right down the middle right here. So if people try to remove her from her shell, it will kill her. So if you look on the back of her little foot, the little back foot, she's got three toes. That makes her a three-toed box turtle. That's very common down here in Southeast Texas. And uh, she's almost full grown. She might get a little bit bigger, but this is about the size they get. And like I told you in the video a minute ago, I think this one might be a female. There are a lot of different little things you can tell on turtles, but it's actually kind of hard to actually accurately sex a turtle without being able to uh, get a professional look at them because the eye colors, if they're red, they generally mean male. If they're uh, brown, they're generally female, but that's not always accurate. Sometimes you can have a brown-eyed uh, male and a red-eyed female. So, And the eyes are so it's not specifically brown or specifically red, it's really hard to tell exactly which color it is. So uh, one cool thing about this turtle, though, we call it a box turtle because her shell can completely close up. It's hinged on the bottom. If you look here, I'm gonna flip her over. Down here along the bottom, she's got this shell part right here and it's hinged. When she gets scared, she can close up and she can pull her little legs, her head, her little legs in the back and her tail. Look, that's what she does when she tries to flip herself over. She thought she was upside down. But if you look at her, that hinge will close up and she'll be completely encased in her shell. You won't be able to see any part of her flesh. That's very uncommon for most turtles. Most turtles in the world are like aquatic turtles, turtles and they can't close up. They just pull their little legs inside, but you can still look and see the turtle's legs sticking out from the shell. So I'm telling you, she's not shy at all. Check her out. So, okay, cool thing about box turtles is that they are omnivorous. That means they eat uh, vegetables, plant, uh, plant life, and insects. So uh, when they're younger, when they're babies, they tend to be more carnivorous. They tend to favor bugs. As they get older, they tend to uh, favor veggies more. So I can't tell you how old she is just looking at her. It's, it's, it's almost impossible, especially if she's full grown. But the cool thing about a box turtle is they live for a long time. They can live 50, 60, 70, 100 years sometimes. And what's cool is I could pass this turtle down to my grandkids, and if they took care of her, uh, they could pass it on to their grandkids. So, yeah, look how active she is, man. She just keeps running right towards that camera. She's a little camera hog. Look at her. So... Um, she's an awesome box turtle. Now, here's the bad thing about box turtles. Uh, people have been destroying their homes so much in this area that they're now considered like a protected species. So I can't catch a wild box turtle and keep them because it's bad for the species and box turtles don't do well in captivity if they were uh, 
bred in the wild. If they're bred by breeders, they tend to do better in the wild, I mean, in, in the captivity because that's what they're used to. That's what they're born into. But like her, she was outside. We were innocently just walking across the property and found her. And I will talk about that for a second. I watch videos on YouTube and I see other guys find animals sometimes and I don't believe they really found them randomly. I think they placed them there and then filmed so they can make a video and it's more interesting. This turtle was really honestly us walking in my property and I found this box turtle right in the middle of my property. That's, that's really great because in all the time I've had this house, uh, I haven't seen a box turtle out there. This is the first one and I'm really happy we found her. So when this video is done, I am gonna take her and turn her free again because she is a wild turtle and I don't wanna keep her. Uh, box turtles generally only stay within five miles of the uh, area that they were born in. So she'll want to live in this area for her whole life if she has the choice. Okay, and as you can see, I said this earlier, but she's incredibly healthy. Her shell's in excellent shape, her skin's in excellent shape, her little face, you can tell turtles, sometimes their little nose, what we call the beak, gets very big, they gotta chip those down. Sometimes you can see stuff coming out of the nose or eyes, that means they have an upper respiratory infection of some kind. She doesn't have any of this. So she's a super healthy, happy little turtle. And like I said, she's super energetic. A nickname for her could be Speedy, because check her out. Now people talk about turtles being slow. Look at this little turtle. She's not slow at all. Look at her. All right, guys. So I'm going to take her and turn her free from both of us. Keep it wild.